Hello everyone, this is Jessica Brigden of Jess B Creative Cardiology. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to make this cute little raccoon flower card with the Stampin' Up! Special Someone Stamp Set, as well as the new Stampin' Up! Ornate Garden Specialty Designer Series paper. So to get started here, we first need a half sheet of mint macaron cardstock. This is five and a half by eight and a half. We'll go ahead and Fold that to get started. We're folding that at the four and a quarter mark. And that forms our card base. Next, we have a layer of Blushing Bride cardstock. This is four inches by five and a quarter. So it's a quarter inch smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that to the card base. Just like so. Okay, our next layer is cut with the Stampin' Up! Ornate Borders dies. All right, I've used several of them here. The one that I am using for this layer is the, the second largest, and I have it here in my little die brush stamp case here to keep all of the little pieces contained, but you'll just run your die brush um, through the die here, and then all of those little pieces stay in your stamp case and then your die cut piece looks awesome okay so we're gonna take that with all those little pieces cut out have a little bit more to go here and then our next layer uh, is this piece of Stampin' Up! Ornate Garden specialty paper uh, you can see the specialty is that it's got gold foil um, on the back side of, of half of the sheets and on this side, I've got these pretty little flowers. So this particular piece is, this is three and a half inches long, and it is two, two and a quarter. So two and a quarter by three and a half is the measurement you'll need um, to fit inside the ornate frame here. Again, we're gonna go ahead and stick that down. All right, looks like I flubbed up the edge, but. We're going to stick that down first, okay, and then, then I've cut uh, one of the, a little piece of white for the sentiment. This is with the stitched rectangle dies, and on that we're going to stamp our sentiment uh, for a special someone, again from the special someone stamp set. It's a great card to just send to someone to let them know you care. I'm going to stamp that in terracotta tile ink. Okay, and these are photopolymer stamps, so I do have my foam mat here. This helps you to give a, a nice, nice little cushion under the photopolymer stamps. I'm going to stamp that down here in the lower right corner. All right, it's a little crooked, but that's okay. We can make it work. Okay, and then... That will glue also onto our card base here. So, oops, is that in the view? Here we go. And again, I just put that right in the center. Stick this down. I can punch out all those little pieces in a minute. It's okay. And next we need our little raccoon and the flower. So again, I'm pulling out the Stampin' Pierce mat. For the raccoon, I'm going to use gray granite as my raccoon body. This is that nice two-tone effect there. Okay, this is a two-step stamp. So stamping the body with the gray granite. I am leaving room at the bottom because the detailed image contains the feet. So you wanna leave room for that. Okay, so the detailed piece we'll be doing in basic gray, so a little bit darker, but I wanted to be able to see some definition there, and I'm going to line it up uh, with the eyes, and there is a die cut for this. Uh, it's the coordinating die cuts that are available for the month of March. All right, so see, it doesn't matter if it's not, not quite perfect because we're going to die cut that and uh, you won't even notice. All right, so I'm gonna put that on my machine here, and then I'm going 
to also stamp my flower for the raccoon to hold. I'm gonna do this in old olive ink. Okay, just gonna stamp that on there. And then do the flower itself with terracotta. And again, the petals do have little shapes, so you can tell by the curve of the petals. The biggest one here with the curve goes down on the lower left. And that looked great. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly die cut these, and then we will adhere them with Stampin' Dimensionals to our card base. Okay, so die cut machine. I've got my magnetic platform on here. Let's stick on our dies. Now these dies are part of Stampin' Up's coordination product release for the month of March. Super cute. All right, so because this is magnetic and it's all, there's like 50 little tiny mini magnets in here, you may need to move your paper around. Okay, I'm just gonna run this through. Snap, crackle, pop. And then we are all set. And pop out our little pieces. Perfect. Put a couple of dimensionals on the back. I use little scraps. Whoops. Use up every piece I've got. Okay. So that's gonna go on our card. Here. And then we'll use a mini glue dot, just a little one for the flower stem. I'm going to put that right in the center of his little hands. There we go. Oops, it's sticking to me. Okay, now it's now it's stuck. It doesn't want to release my fingers. There we go. Okay, and then our flower. And again, we'll put a little put a little dimensional. I've used all my scraps, so I'm going to just put a little glue dot on there, stick the stem, there we go. And then to finish it off, I use some of the new Gilded Gems. These are also part of the Stampin' Up! Ornate Garden Suite. So I have just a couple little ones left here. Use my Take Your Pick tool. All right, and then I can place that tiniest one right in the flower center. And that's all done. There you go, it's a quick and simple way to use the special someone stamp set, the someone special coordination dies, and the Stampin' Up! Ornate Garden suite of products. Now this suite will be available for all, for everyone come April 1st, and it's currently on demonstrator pre-order. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe, and ring that bell so that you'll receive notifications. Thanks so much and have a great day.